This past week, I built this table, this one right here. And when I built the top, I used plywood because I wanted one big, large, flat surface. It's a utility table for my garage, something that rolls around in here, but I also want it to look good. So I decided I was going to paint the plywood. Well, if you've ever come across an issue where you painted raw wood with a water-based product and the surface became a little rough on you, that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about grain raising. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. For this video, we're gonna talk about something that you probably don't even know the name of, and it is probably something you've come across, but didn't know what to do, weren't sure that there it was actually a thing or had a name to it. It's called grain raising. And what that is, if you've never heard of it before, is when you use a water-based product on raw wood, and it takes that flat panel of wood and causes it to have a sort of rough finish. And Ultimately what's happening is the water from inside your product is causing the fibers within the wood, within the grain to swell. And that swelling will change the texture of the surface. So I wanted to walk through this because while I was doing these boards, I had that, that come up with both of them, one with primer, one with paints. We're gonna walk through both of those. And also just literally the other day, I was reading through some uh, comments in another group where somebody had this issue. They're using a water-based primer and their wood changed texture, got a little bit rough, and she was frustrated with the product, with the wood, she didn't know what was going on. And ultimately it's just that she was having grain raising happen. So I thought it would be a great thing, especially since these are very basic videos, if you're brand new to painting with these types of furniture paint, wise is water-based, and you you paint your first coat and you have this happen on some raw wood, you're like, what is going on? You know, you're you're starting to be upset about the paint, you're upset about the peat, whatever you might be upset about and not realize that it's just straight up science. It's simply the water from the, the product you're using is absorbing into the fibers, causing it to swell and then causing a little bit of texture. So. That's what uh, grain raising is, but what do you do or how do you go about fixing it if it is an issue? So it could depend on your wood, whether you even have this problem come up or not. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So we're gonna walk through. So I have both Wiseall's primer, water-based, and their paint, water-based. I'm just gonna talk through the process. So. Basically, you're going to take your, your wood. So this panel board that I use for my sample boarding for videos, and let's say I want to prime it before I start any painting. And I paint on one coat just as I would, and I'll put a link below for using the primer and painting it on so you can kind of see me actually do that. And you paint it on and you leave it overnight, you come back and that um, grain raising happens. And you're like, oh man, now what do I do? Well, it's really, really simple. You're gonna take it, take it outside, get you some 220 grit sandpaper and just sand it smooth. And what you're gonna do is there's, there's two methods in getting rid of the grain raising. This is method number two, and I'll come back to method number one for you, just so you have an idea. But method number two is called burying. And just basically meaning you're gonna bury the, the grain for raising. So you're gonna do the first coat, sand it smooth, and then you're gonna do that second coat, which is gonna cover and bury that grain from getting any higher to causing any more, you know, with that textured issue that you might get from using a water-based product on raw wood. So that's all there is to it. So you're gonna do the first coat, take it outside, sand it smooth, do the second coat and bury that grain raising. So, that's the second method. There's, like I said, there's two different methods and a way to, to do it. And if you're painting furniture that's raw wood, that's probably the best way, just because you're gonna do two coats of primer anyway. So that step in just smoothing it out is a step you might already do anyway, because you might want to smooth in between 
or sand in between coats of primer anyway. But the first method is you're gonna, before you do anything to it, before you do primer, before you do paint, that you actually raise the grain yourself. So you purposefully go in and raise the grain and sand it back. So how you would do that, if that's a, the choice you wanna make, let's say this board, I'm gonna take a sponge, wet sponge, I'm gonna wet it, right? I'm gonna look, leave it alone, come back tomorrow, leave it, let it dry overnight, and it'll have that same effect where the water caused the, the fibers to swell a little bit, and then it get a little bit of rough texture. I'm just gonna sand it down, and that's kind of you doing a, a, a prep to the grain raising, and that should, in most cases, with most woods, stop it from happening once you move on to your water-based products. So that is an option. Although if you're going to prime and or paint, I'll get to that in a second, you're going to do two coats anyway. So, but just to give you an idea, there's a couple different ways to do that. So, but that's, you know, to get the texture to be nice and smooth and prep and ready for you to paint. Now, what if you just paint first? Because, you know, obviously with Wiseall's paint, you don't need a primer on, especially, especially raw wood. But in most cases, you don't necessarily need a primer, although I'm a strong advocate of primer just because it gives you a longer lasting finish, but it's not necessary because Wiseall's paint will stick to most surfaces. But if you're talking about raw wood, it, you're probably really not gonna need it unless you're worried about tannins, something bleeding through your paint, and then you're gonna wanna use primer. But for this, I actually used it on this board, the paint on this board without the primer, had no issues whatsoever as far as bleed through because of the kind of wood it is. But we did have the grain raising from the water from the paint, from painting on directly on the raw wood. So again, same concept. I took this piece outside, sanded it smooth, came back and painted a second coat, which ended up burying that grain raising and stopped it from continuing. So that's all there is to it. So again, just to kind of reiterate, if you're starting off on raw wood, adding water-based products, which most of, most of the ones that are out there are water-based just because for the most part, it's the safest. Wiseall has some really green, really safe to use products, especially for indoor use. And that starts with it being a water-based product. So if you're starting with raw wood. If you have some type of furniture piece that you got, it's just straight up raw wood. You're gonna wanna think that through as far as that grain raising that might happen. So you can prime one coat, sand it down smooth and it doesn't need to be like a hardcore sanding because you don't want to sand the primer away it's just sanding the ridges of what has popped up from the fiber swelling sand it smooth second coat and it should bury it and keep it from happening anymore same thing with the paint paint one coat sand it smooth second coat buries it keeps it down and stops it from continuing any further throughout your finish so that is grain raising. So you, and like I said before, you got two methods to fix that. The one that we've walked through and then of course the first one where you'll take a sponge and like kind of like pre-raise it yourself before you move on to the next steps. So that's just something I thought would be useful because like I said, I saw someone who I knew was new to painting furniture, mentioned this in a group and she was really frustrated with why this was happening and just didn't understand that, you know, that's just the science of raw wood, unfortunately. You know, add water to it, um, you're gonna have some swelling that will happen depending on, you know, how much you use, the humidity level where you're at. I mean, there's some variables in the wood too, but it's just a simple fix. You're just gonna smooth it out after the first coat and then bury it with the second coat. And then you move on to whatever the rest of your finish is that it's that easy. So I thought this would be a good topic to hit on just to ensure that if you are brand new and you have this happen, that you don't freak out or think that you did something wrong or there's something wrong with the products that you're using. It's just science. That's what happens. And it's an easy fix. If you do have this happen to you, I'm raw wood and that's it. So, All right, so that's grain raising. So hopefully you haven't come across that issue too much 
But if you're using a water-based product over raw wood, it is just science. It's something really unavoidable. It's just to what extent it comes across. So like a lot of things I teach, it's just knowledge base. If you know, have the knowledge to know what to do in that situation, you'll know how to fix that problem. So as you can see in the table, I have a little video going on right here. You can see the table as smooth as can be. So I started off with our white primer, and that was how I started it with our water-based product, right? And then I did the bearing technique, more primer, and then I rolled on our Snow All One Hour Enamel because it's a large flat surface. And we actually have a video I just did for rolling and tipping, and I'll tag that here in the video so you can check that out in case you're doing a tabletop or something like that, and you wanna use One Hour Enamel, it's a great way just to get that one big flat surface without trying to brush it on, worry about brush strokes. But as you can see, it turned out really beautiful. And we didn't have to worry about the grain or bumps or anything, it turned out really beautiful and smooth. And I use that bearing technique. It's perfect for any time you're using raw wood. Plywood's really tricky because it really swells, but your usual woods aren't gonna swell quite as much, but I thought this video would be very informational um, for those that might have come across this problem, especially using paint, primer, anything to those raw wood surfaces. Everybody have a blessed day, and as always, happy painting.